Hello and welcome to Ask Bondi Vet, proudly brought to you by Bondi Vet Pet Insurance. My name is Pete Laser, and today we're joined by one of our wonderful Bondi Vets, Dr. Danny. Danny, thanks for joining us. Hi, how are you going? Very well, thank you. <laughs> this is where you come to get all of your vet questions answered. And today our question is from Melissa. And I think it's a very popular question. How important is pet insurance and do I really need it? You would have been asked this a lot, Danny. What's the answer? Uh, I guess it's important to be aware that uh, if you do end up needing emergency care, um, say for a snake bite, for example, or um, referral surgery, so if, you've, if your dog's slipped a disc, um, those sorts of things, you can be looking at upward of $5,000 for treatment. So um, it really can, that bill can become a really big issue and, and it can make it that decision to treat a really, really difficult one for owners, and which is really distressing and we want to avoid that. So, uh, but certainly, you do need to have a chat to the insurance companies and definitely have a chat to your vet so that we can make sure that there's nothing missing um, that should be covered or potentially if there's things that are being covered that maybe aren't necessary depending on your animal. Now I've heard that it's only for dogs and cats, is that right? At this stage, I'm only aware of dog and cat uh, pet insurance. So I think there's a lot of sad people out there that want to um, get some insurance on the other fairy family members. So hopefully that will change in the future. But at this stage, it looks like just dogs and cats. Now you're a vet, but you've got pet insurance too for your pets, don't you? I certainly do have pet insurance. I, um, I don't get any fancy discounts. So, um, and if something happens to my animal and they need to get to the specialist or they need to get to the emergency centre, that's something that is going to cost a lot of money and I don't have sitting there to draw upon. So um, that's why I have it. I never really knew about pet insurance. I knew about health insurance, home insurance, car insurance. Mm. I didn't know pet insurance was so important and, and so prevalent. Yeah, look, I think these days um, pets are now part of the family and everyone wants to really do everything that they can for their furry, you know, furry baby. <laughs> and uh, so that's where pet insurance can help give that opportunity to people that otherwise wouldn't be able to afford those sort of treatments. It's one thing that we may take out but we never want to use. It's probably fair to say, isn't Exactly. It? Look, if that, yeah, if the worst case scenario is that you've paid for insurance and nothing ever happens to your animal, that is fantastic. So, you know, that's a win in the end, really. Well, let's hope all <laughs> of our wonderful furry friends stay healthy. Thanks so much, Danny. Great to hear from you. Of course, if you've got any questions for us, make sure you get on the Bondi Vet Facebook page or our website, bondivet.com forward slash questions, and we'll try and answer those with our next series. Thanks so much for joining us. Bye for now. This episode was brought to you by Bondi Vet Pet Insurance. Get your best friend covered today at bondivet.com. Hi, I'm Dr. Danny Dusek from Bondi Vet. If you love our show and want to see more, plus some amazing content about pets and how to care for them, hit the subscribe button. Click that little notification bell and we'll see you on our next video.